Hello and welcome to The Social Life. This week we talked to Kiwi actor Carl McNaughton about his local up-and-coming web show, Auckland Days. But first, I talked to Sandy Parikh and Jeff Lewis from The Guild about what it takes to make a successful web show. The Guild is a web series, basically a sitcom you watch on the internet about a group of gamers who play a game similar to World of Warcraft. So how does a web series differ from traditional TV content? What's successful on the web is what's not on television. Um, it's sort of anti-television in a way. I think in order for something to really pop online, there has to be something you just can't get on television. And those that tend to watch their content online tend to be those that want something shocking or you know different, something that they really like, holy crap, I can't believe this is made. Like Whatever it is, it needs to appeal to this visceral kind of side of you where you go, I need to share this. And that's what the internet's so great about is that you, you're just a click away from sharing that content. Uh, the impact that I think social media has had on the guild is that there's, you're able to get to, you're able to touch so many more people. If your show is going on tomorrow, without social media you'd be hard pressed to find how to contact all those people. Social media is has been absolutely necessary. I mean, it's the only way that we're able to market our shows in an efficient manner, in, in a way that doesn't co cost us, you know, money that we don't have. Our audience wants to know that they've seen what we've created, right? right? They comment on our work, and so they want to tell us, hey, you know, this is good, this is, this is shit, <laughs> whatever they want to say to us, they want to say something to us, and they, and they also want to know that when we speak back to them that it's us yeah. speaking, that it's the creators. So it seems anybody can get their 15 minutes of fame these days, but do you think social media can give people more than just 15 minutes of fame? I don't know whether or not social media allows you more fame or less fame and it probably allows more people to become somewhat famous I mean it, it gives t probably talented people more opportunity for exposure and uh, and vastly you know untalented people more opportunity for exposure I mean it's just it's 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 very it's democratizing in that sense so you also have shows like two and a half men which has this like mass audience but the guild is something special to geeks um, what's happening here do you think popular culture is changing or do we just have more options? I think it's just giving you definitely more options. I don't think growing up I would have ever, I mean I had like, there was three shows I could watch and now somebody can turn on their TV and watch and the internet and watch almost anything that really appealed to you and try, you can even try it out for a few minutes and then go on to something else. So when Hollywood is making movies about Mark Zuckerberg, the geek seems so firmly in the mainstream. Or do you think that Geek is still on the fringe, but just better connected because of shows like The Guild? What we do, I think, is very, it feels like a secret club. When people recognize me, um, it's not, you know, there's not a swarm of people in a club that'll come up and be like, oh my god. It'll b probably be like the bouncer that'll be like, hey man, love your show. You know, it's like, and it's the weirdest uh, group. I mean, it's the awesomest group in some ways, because it's just really like, you never know where it's going to happen. It'll be like the Starbucks barista, or it'll be the TSA agent at an airport. You have this like kind of secret handshake, this moment with them where they're like, "Hey, I know what you do, and I love what you do." But it's not like that Neil Patrick Harris getting s swamped by everybody. So it's kind of this cool, like under I, I like I like the vibe of it. Okay, so Auckland Days is, um, is about four hapless male wannabes trying to make it in New Zealand's pitiful entertainment industry. And how will you use social media to tell your story? One of the requirements for the, um, for the Digital Partnership Production Fund was that it had some kind of uh, online interactivity element. Off the back of the success of Reservoir Hill, we tried to take what they were doing in terms of interactivity with the text messaging and stuff to, a, to another level whereby viewers could not just offer suggestions but kind of communicate and, and converse with characters. So where can people watch Auckland Days? One of the things TVNZ really wanted to try out was an embeddable player. You can go onto our Auckland Days Facebook page and you'll be able to watch the episodes on Facebook. One of the cool things is, is that it's um, non-regional so it can be watched anywhere in the world. And how will you engage audiences in significant numbers online? One of the things we're kind of relying on is, is social networking 
and trying to get people to share the videos and really the only way of doing that is by making them good and so that's what we've been focusing on is, is trying to make the best content possible in order to get the in order to get those significant numbers and finally do you see a new type of storyteller emerging in New Zealand I think what New Zealand on air is doing is trying to grow a new generation of storyteller I think you know that they, they understand that new media um, is on the rise and, and that the internet and social networking and stuff is, is just growing exponentially and so I think giving that digital partnership production fund and putting it out there is, is, a, is a great step um, towards encouraging you know, up-and-coming uh, storytellers. So it was great this week to have the opportunity to learn more from the talented people who are making original content for the web and using digital tools to tell their story. Tools which are available to all the storytellers out there who want to try something new and innovative. Remember, you can always tell us what you think about the social life on Twitter using the hashtag SocialLifeNZ.